In this lesson, we'll take a look at the MIDI learn feature of Rekordbox DJ. This lets you map a function in Rekordbox DJ to a button or slider or knob on your compatible DJ controller. I'll show you the MIDI learn window and I'll explain its parts. And then we're going to map one feature over onto our connected controller, which is the DDJ400. To access MIDI learn, click on the MIDI button over here on the upper right of the performance mode screen. The MIDI Learn interface looks like this. You've got a drop down here that shows your connected Rekordbox DJ controller. And then below that, you've got tabs, deck, pad effects, sampler, mixer, browse, other, and lighting. Once you've picked a tab, you're shown all the available commands that are already mapped. Function tells you what the command is. Deck lets you specify which deck it will apply the command to. MIDI in tells you the MIDI address that's received by the controller. Type is the kind of control that the function is mapped to. You can pick from button or pad, knob or fader, rotary, indicator, which is for triggering lights on your controller, and a value, which is used for the needle search and velocity sampler controls. MIDI out tells you the MIDI address that's being sent to the controller. And finally, comments is for any notes about the control that you'd like to add. Below that, you've got buttons for editing the mappings. Learn allows you to pick a command from the list above. And with Learn activated, it lets you simply press or move a control in order to map that command. Add lets you add a command. And Recordbox has an entire list of commands that you can use for MIDI mapping. Duplicate lets you clone an existing command. Useful if, for example, you want to use the same command for a different deck. Export lets you save the current MIDI mapping, while import lets you open an existing MIDI mapping that's saved on your hard drive. And finally, default returns everything to the default setting in case you messed up and you just want to go back to the beginning. Let's try adding a function to our DJ controller here. Let's say I want to add a reverse button here in my DDJ400. And let's say I want to replace the sync button since I'm not going to be using sync anyway. I first look for the beat sync function in the MIDI mapping menu and I delete it. It's this one over here. Once that's done, I then click on add. Then I go to Reverse. And with Reverse highlighted, I click on Learn. And then now I press the Sync button over here in Deck 1. It now gets a MIDI in address as well as a MIDI out address. OK, now we're going to do the same thing over onto Deck 2. So first, I'm going to delete the Sync button. There we go. And then now I'm going to click on the reverse function that we added. I'm going to duplicate that. And then with Learn highlighted, I'm just going to click on the Beat Sync button over here. And voila, we got the MIDI in and the MIDI out mappings in there. OK, so now we've got that mapped. We now need to change the deck to deck 2. There we go. And now we can close this. And then now we can try it out. So let's hit play on this one. Cool. I'm going to press our new reverse button. Awesome. There you go. Now if I press it again, it will play forwards. So let's try that over in deck two. Using that. Let's use our new reverse button. There you go. Pretty cool. MIDI mapping lets you customize your controller to swap out features and controls you don't need and bring in functions that you'd prefer to use while you DJ. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at setting up record boxes to spin with CDJs or XDJs in HID mode. So I'm going to see you then.